Hey guys, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris, and I have just finished staging this dresser that I'm calling Monet's Watercolor Dresser. Um, why I chose that name was because of the feedback that I was getting while I was painting it. It's kind of, all of my designs to start to just kind of evolve, and I tried two different things, maybe three, on this piece that's hiding behind me that I've never done before. I've never started with wax. I've never done that before. So um, it kind of took on a really beautiful watercolor effect. Just getting back from seeing Monet's garden, staging with this gorgeous art set that was gifted to me by Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary um, over on YouTube and the owner of DIY Paint. Uh, so I've got this piece on my staging wall and as I'm standing here, I'm thinking it looks tiny behind me because I look like a giant because I'm, I'm a little closer. Um, hi Janet, hi Suzanne, hi everybody popping on. Listen, I'm going to show you how I staged and why I picked the pieces that I did. Um, so I promise that I'm going, as soon as I get off of here, I'm actually going to post the pictures that I've been taking. I've been posting, taking pictures for about an hour now. And now the sun with the daylight savings, the sun is starting to drop this direction. Um, whereas in our other house, the evening, it was the brightest, which I had to hurry and get done before the evening because of the west window. Now I have a south window. The sun's going down behind um, the eve of the house. Anyway, I'm working it out. This is the only second time that I photographed on my new staging wall. So the dresser turned out way better than I expected. Um, didn't really know what to expect. Like I said, I needed it to evolve. Um, the original was, okay, so the original was wood and then people had start, no, not people. Um, someone had tried to strip the original yellow latex off of it. It was like a chartreuse though, it wasn't. And you can still see glimpses of it down here and in the photographs you'll be able to see it better. Um, but I pulled my pink um, rug in here from our bathroom and um, I added this box, which I'm gonna bring you in a lot closer here in just a moment. I just wanted you to be able to see the whole dresser. Um, we sanded the top and added DIY's new product called um, Barnwood Finish. It's a patina, so it's a top coat. Uh, it's kind of like a stain, but it's a product by DIY and it's brand new and so it almost has some more of a gray tint and I thought that was perfect. Um, so I left the original hardware on and I used Bowl 57, I used Monet's Garden, a Blue Iris, Kissing Booth, um, I started with a white wax, actually. I started with the white wax, so that was super fun. Um, and But again, this was something I taught in my Creative Connection, so it was just exclusive to them. That's why you didn't see any videos of it. But I then I pulled together all of my, not all of it actually, a lot of my blue glass that I've had for years and years, and then the green glass, yellow glass, all of which I bought these bottles from Reclaimed Warehouse and more. Um, I have my jadeite cake tray that I bought at Magnolia last summer. And then this little gem, I, I could pick it up, but it would probably be easier if I brought you closer. So I, I thought I had it all staged and then it hit me. Whoa, you better go grab that art box that was gifted to you by Miss Debbie um, and display it out a little bit. I took just my little anthropology bowls and I stuck some of the original oils that are in the box. Guys, these are still squishy, so I don't know how old they are, but I may have to dig into it and just kind of see. Um, so the brushes, they were in this box, original. Um, I do love my paint pixies. But this is such a night treat, nice treat. And I thought it would make a really good thing to have staged on the top of the dresser since I'm calling it the Monet's. We literally found this in an antique store when we were in Paris. Um, it was across the street from the entrance to Monet's garden and home. Um, it was just this little bitty, like a little like 12 by 12 store. And um, anyway, that being said, 
I just displayed things out. These are both from Abby, who um, is the owner and designer at The Colorist Concept. She makes these little paint bowls for me and, um, and for you, for anyone. So I just kind of spread that out and thought I would have more of an artistic feel. I like the texture of this bowl, base, whatever you want to call it. It's big. It's got great color. It's from Anthropology, and I got it like 75% off, so always good. So I just pulled these pieces together, but I want you to see, I'm gonna lower the camera just a little bit so you can see the dresser a little better. And like I said, I'm getting ready to post the pictures of the dresser. I posted a sneak peek a second ago on Facebook and Instagram. And you did not see any videos of this unless you were in my group. Is she pretty? I think she's so pretty. So, like I said, the um, the detail on this trim right here in the middle is probably my favorite part. Right here. Right. I absolutely love this. this is old 57 that you're seeing, and then combining it with a very light coat of the Monet's Garden. Try that. Try a color like Old 57 and Monet's Garden, no matter what paint you use, what brand you're using, um, try that sometime in the future. Mix, mix this dark green. It's not an emerald. It doesn't have any yellow in it. And mix it with, the, with something that's like, like a really true turquoise. This almost looks like a Tiffany blue, and I love the way it outlined it. The other thing, when I told you earlier about the latex, I left some of it up here as well, which is where you're seeing all of this chunkiness right here. Okay, look at this in here. Look at this in here. Get closer to your screen if you need to. <laughs> so this right here, look at the hearts. I love it, thank you so much. Um, this is Blue Iris. This is Old 57. This is that yummy, crusty, goodness yellow that was already on here before I started the piece. I'm gonna get some really good close-ups with my camera and show you all in the pictures that are coming up and will be posted tonight. So then there's fuchsia, which of course, when you take the blue and the fuchsia, you're gonna get layers of purple as well. Um, but for the most part, the overall color is a very light aqua turquoise blue. The top, I used the Barnwood Patina, which was brand new by DIY, so I didn't want the real brown color, I instead enjoy, am enjoying this more of a driftwood barn color that's on top. So we sanded it down to the original. And I think it just looks super with the glass hitting the light. You'll see in the pictures um, what I mean. So that's that. Um, for those of you that have been following the last few days, I have another red piece. If any of you know what the red piece um, looks like, I'm moving this off the staging wall and getting it in here now and um, be ready to take some pictures tomorrow when the room is full of light and um, get that one posted for you tomorrow. This piece is available and it will be posted on my website tonight. Um, it's in great condition and solid and I had the best time painting it with my group uh, last week. You guys, thanks for being here. This was day 15. So 85 to go. Did you end up doing two layers or just one on the top? Kelly, I just did one, um, but what I think I'm gonna do is now put a clear coat of wax for extra sealer because if I do another coat of the gray, it's gonna be more opaque and I don't want it to be opaque. I really love that the wood grain's coming through, Kelly. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is actually clear coat it with just wax and then buff it real well so it really has a good solid top. I mean, just look at her hanging out over the top right here. Look at this. So we're gonna sit her here tonight for a couple more hours, bring the red one in, um, and I will see you back tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna paint on a canvas tomorrow for you all. I have, um, what gray did you use again? Nikki, I used um, DIY's brand new Barnwood um, gray, Patina. So it is a top coat. I don't actually have to seal it with anything, but I want to. Um, 
thank you guys. Thanks for the hearts and thanks for being here. I know it's kind of a short live, but I'm right in the middle of staging. I'm not painting today, so I'll catch you guys later. Have an awesome, awesome Monday night.